radio. Oh, yeah. I'm just so addicted, can't leave it alone. But Who's pregnant, who's winning, who's got hidden children, who knows? Boy, that's early. I know it, and I'm lit. I can't even help it, man. I'm telling you, I saw the way I walked in here this morning, the way Miss Shanika walked in. Even you, Shadow, we all walked in here this morning like we had a good Thursday night, but we made it to see another man. And if you listen to us right now, just know we're going to have a good time today, man. We're going to hit you with the biggest thing happening today. Definitely going to get a chance to serve y'all up some of this date dilemma and are you smarter than young jock? Well, you too have the opportunity to pick up some cash, all right? What's up, Miss Shanika? Of course, we got to get inside the word on the streets news, and I got to update you with what's going on with all these crazy stars. Speaking of crazy, I'm going to deliver the craziest story you're going to hear all day in a few minutes so y'all tuned into the right ones. Hey man, make sure y'all stick around all morning long for more Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover. Hi. Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover brings you the biggest thing happening today. What's poppin'? Pop, poppin'? We are now live on your radio. That's right. Good morning. Good morning. Let's get into it. The Supreme Court rejects challenge to abortion pill allowing drug to stay on the market. That's right. In this new ruling, the Supreme Court has rejected it. The case stemmed from a Texas judge's ruling last year to move Mifepristone off the market. The group of anti-abortion doctors claimed the FDA did not properly vet the drug back in 2000 and put women's health at risk. In a unanimous decision, the high court kept wide access to the drug Mifepristone, one of two drugs used in nearly 66% of all abortions last year. That means patients can receive the drug through the mail without an in-person doctor visit. All right. Well, in this new ruling, once again, the Supreme Court has rejected the challenge to the abortion pill, allowing the drug to stay on the market. So you are safe for this hot girl summer. OK, <laughs> keep it locked. We got Shouty Shouty coming up with that crazy report. After 25 and just a few. Bonnie Banks is going to take you around the streets in 90 seconds. It's Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Keep it locked right here to Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Check the news. Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover. I'm the Bonnie Banks, getting you around your streets in only 90 seconds. The Supreme Court of Oklahoma has dismissed the lawsuit by the last known survivors of the 1921 Tulsa Race Massacre. That state's high court upheld a decision made by a district court last year that said being connected to a historical event does not provide a person with unlimited rights to seek compensation. The high court said the plaintiff's grievances are legitimate but don't fall within the scope of the state's public nuisance statute. This is one of the worst incidents of racist violence against black people in the U.S. history, and it's unfortunate that we were not able to receive reparations. Elon Musk has received some really good news as Tesla shareholders have approved a $56 billion pay package. Shareholders also voted to restore CEO Elon Musk's record $45 billion pay package that was thrown out by a Delaware judge earlier this year. We're going to see what Elon Musk does with that moolah. Last but not least, the culture meets politics as Quavo is partnering with Kamala Harris for the first Rocket Foundation of Gun Violence Prevention. Kamala Harris is coming back to Georgia and Friday's visit will focus on her nationwide economic opportunity tour with a conversation at the 100 Black Men of America. Her visit on Tuesday is a push for her continued work toward gun violence prevention and keeping communities safer. During this visit, Vice President Harris will focus and join rapper philanthropist Quavo for a special conversation at his first ever Rocket Foundation Summit. We love to see Quavo doing something 
something dope in the city, especially after losing takeoff. That's Around the Streets in 90 Seconds. That's T-H-E-E, The Bonnie Banks on all social media platforms. Make sure to follow me to keep up with what I've got going on in these streets this weekend. And Shawty shawty has got the craziest thing you're going to hear all day. It's the Crazy Report, only on Young Jack and the Streets Morning Takeover. Yo, it's the craziest story you'll hear all morning. The Crazy Report is on right now. Shawty shawty run it down. Yeah, run it down is what we about to do. That's what happened at this Brazilian beauty pageant at the second place runner-up. What kind, husband, of, what kind of beauty pageant? A Brazilian pa- beauty pageant. Brazilian? Yes, a Brazilian beauty pageant. Oh, I ain't hear the R. Yes, uh, uh. <laughs> The second runner-up husband rushed the stage and crashes the crown because he was mad because his girl didn't win. Mm. Yes, that chaos you hear is the man running up. He grabbed his girl by the hair and yanked her away from the other women. Started smashing the crown, but while he was smashing the crown, guess what he started singing, Jock? What? Contest, you in first place. You in first place. You in first place. Bad contest, you in first place. That's what he told his girl, and that's crazy. And you know I know crazy because I'm crazy. And crazy and I was crazy. That's shout out what my name is with that crazy report. Now let's get into these national days. All right, well, let's talk about it. It is a national bourbon day. Shout out to all the bourbon drinkers mm-hmm. out there. Also, it's national monkey around day. Also, mm-hmm. it is national pop goes the weasel day. Do mm-hmm. you know that nursery rhyme? Pop goes all the around the mulberry bush. The monkey something the weasel. Pop goes the weasel. Exactly. I haven't been a child in a very long time. Mm. And finally, it is the U.S. Army's birthday. Okay. Happy birthday to all of my vets and current military personnel. Yes, sir. And let me say this. Remember back in the day, they used to say, be all you can be. Be all you can be. Yes. And I encourage that all slogan young men. does not go around like that anymore. I feel like to our community. Yeah, they took the recruiters out of high school. Young men, if you don't know what you want to do, young ladies, if you undecided to join the armed forces, they will give you a career and you'll get a pension. If so you stay if you out. are undecisive, indecisive, yep. or divisive, or put out because you're 18, <laughs> ain't got nowhere to go. Be go to the all army. you can be. Yes. All right. Well, it is celebrity birthday time, and happy birthday to. Ara Star, she is an Afro music singer. Mm-hmm. Happy birthday to Freddie Gibbs, and it is Gunna's birthday. Happy birthday, Gunna! Wanna had a wonderful tour stop here in the ATL on Tuesday. The I mean, it was absolutely news in the city of Atlanta for him, and it is Shawty Daddy's birthday. Uh huh. The one and only Donald J. Trump. The Convicted, recently, recently convicted uh, ex-president, former president of the United States and candidate of uh, 2024. And ex-president of the United States. And wannabe president Mm -hmm. again coming up in 2025. All right. Well, thanks for that. It's time to celebrate these logo birthdays. It's about that time to wish happy birthday to all local celebrities. It's the birthday wish list with Young Jock in the streets morning takeover. I heard it's your birthday. Jim and I see it's been going up since it has begun, and it's not slowing down at all. And we're not slowing down on your birthday shout outs at all. Happy birthday to Bree Lester. Happy birthday, Corey Clark, as well. Patrick G. Happy birthday to you, homie. Also, happy birthday to Hilton Lee. We're running down this list. Katrina, Simon, happy birthday. Nito D. Happy birthday. Birthday, Felicia Hill. What's up? Faith Williams, happy birthday to you. And a big happy birthday to Larry Davis Jr. All of these people hopped in our DM on the gram. Streets Morning Takeover with the Z. If you want to get your birthday on our you want to get your birthday name on our birthday list, you should do the same. Follow us on the gram, Streets Morning Takeover, and we'll give you a birthday shout out on this radio. Leave it locked to Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. 
That's right. Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover. Miss Shanika right here. Shouty, shouty, DJ Swin, the Body Banks. And we're talking about the YSL case. Now, Woody said that he lied when he was being interrogated by the authorities originally and said that Thug wanted to get someone killed. I say, listen, man. Whatever y'all want me to say, I will tell you right now. Just tell me what to say, and I will say it. Tell me what y'all want to know, and it, I, I will tell you. So if they would have asked me about, if they would have asked me about President Trump, I would have had a story about Trump. If they would have asked me about you, I would have had a story about you. Whatever to convince them that I ain't do nothing, it wasn't me. That's what my intentions was. So, so you're asking me about interviews, and I keep telling you, you keep asking me step by 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 step. This is what I did. Try to come up with something to, to tell them. Woody, baby, you is in trouble. Mm. You is in a whole lot of trouble, and you trying to keep it cool. It is just no way. A lot of things are going to fall on you, sweetheart. Yeah, he's stuck in the middle. I mean, he's trying to keep from going to jail. He's trying to satisfy the streets. Yeah. And he's up there looking like... He, 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 and that's know. a whole Cleveland Avenue lie right there, boy. And, and then, How he was saying, it, well, if you would have said it about Trump, I would have said... It, why are you bringing Trump up in, I know I was in next the cool president. Room. And then he goes, he say... He say <laughs> He said, but he, I mean, he's representing all type of things up on stay. Up he on, is. He is. One time um, they asked him, they say, so uh, did you have a beef with such and such? He said, mm-hmm. he's still here, ain't he? Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Wait, is you the killer hey, or hey, no? Hey, he, 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 he one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Now he said, hey, he still here, he ain't he? He's still, he still here, ain't he? I say, oh, Lord, is that a message? <laughs> well, one thing about it, I don't want no problems with you, Woody. So you uh-uh. just keep cool and they going to decide what they going to do with you, baby, okay? Ooh, Move it right along. <laughs> we going to keep you updated with this trial. This trial supersedes any trial that I've ever kept up with in my whole career. When I get off from work, I watch it all day. Mm-hmm. I watch the stream. I watch the whole trial. I need to start representing. I need to start commentating on the trial because I watched the whole trial. It is a- well. Why don't you do that? Um, be- you could have yeah. gave yourself a job about what fifty months ago when uh-huh. it all started. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? We got fifty more to go. All right. Well, you got to keep a lot because I got some word on the streets news on the way. Tiana Taylor mm-hmm. uh, got some news about her because Amon said it ain't fair, it ain't right, and he don't care. They need to uh, reconsider some things. Mm-hmm. Also, Rob Kardashian says that he can't something anymore and this is a whole lot a whole lot of and we gotta talk about Kill Mitchell basically saying that he has kept some things in a closet all that and more coming up inside the word on the streets news in less than 10 minutes keep it locked right here to young jock in the streets morning takeover it's Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover with Miss Shanika. That's right. Let's get inside this word on the streets news and talk about it. Tiana Taylor is getting to the money, honey. She is directing videos. She is um, doing artists what do you call that artists uh training and development with new artists and just taking her brand to a whole new level now Amon Shumpert, who is now her ex-husband, is saying that he wants to go back and reconfigure these numbers for this child support, honey, because he said Tiana is getting all the money that her monthly income before taxes is $93,000, nearly Mm. double the $47,000 he says that he brings home every month. Wow. Wow. They getting a lot of money. They should have stayed together, boy. <laughs> Woo. They getting a lot of money together. But sometimes your ego won't allow you to stay with the person that you're with. And I'm sure after his basketball career that there was a big, big change because she was on the uprise and he was on the decline. Mm. And sometimes that just, you know, doesn't meet each other fairly. Anywho, best of luck to them. But they getting a whole lot of money. Tiana, let that man keep some of his bread. All mm-hmm. right. Chloe is asking for a deposit of uh, sperm from her brother, Rob Kardashian, for her friend. Hmm? And Rob says he can't do what no more? 
Khloe Kardashian's combo with her brother Rob takes an interesting turn on the Kardashians. It all goes down as Coco's bestie Malika tells her she wants to expand her family. I'm with Malika. Hey. Malika wants to have another kid. Hey. And she was going to go to a sperm bank to get sperm, but I just said, why not get it from I you? Can't anymore. What? Is it broke? Rob, just, you don't have to, you just put it in a cup. I That's can't f- anymore. <laughs> Mm. Rob sound like he was laid up, drugged out, and everything else. Don't wow. don't nobody want his. Hey. I mean, they. Why don't she just use her baby daddies? Because she wanted to connect. Cause that's they, they can they can be uh, sister, cousin, friends. I wow. mean, he doing everybody else. Ooh. Anyway, she can um, get it. What's his name? Tristan. Tristan, oh, Tristan is available. Use Tristan so your kids can be siblings. Wow. Oh. Wow. <laughs> that is so bad. Anyway, uh, let's talk about O.J. Simpson. Mm-hmm. Now, there is a new doc on TMZ. It's called TMZ Presents O.J., How He Really Did It. The O.J. Simpson case was my life for more than two years. I never believed Marsha Clark on how she said the murders went down. One critical incident involved my house. No. I even chased O.J. when he went back to the scene of the crime. We were on their tail. I think this is what happened. Harvey, I like your theory a lot. All right, so Harvey won a piece of the O.J. pot. This this story and its significance in our culture will never be denied. People are still wondering to this day. They have a 30 for 30 special right now on Netflix that I was completely obsessed with just a few weeks ago. And how he... How it was presented that he did it, it seemed like he really did it. Well, and they I, played a lot of games in that courtroom. They, I mean, the, the hand is quicker than the eye. People can make you think anything, and the way they're driving it is kind of making me mad. How about they come out with how OJ really didn't do it? Mm. Ain't nobody presented that narrative. But they want to smash him and smash the man is gone. Mm-hmm. Let the man legacy live. They was already killing. The, let his pension just. Well, you know what they also did before he passed away? Mm-hmm. Made the family and friends sign a uh, non disclosure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any help? That is the Word on the Streets news for right now. You mm-hmm. guys can uh, follow me at Miss Shanika and follow us at Streets Morning Takeover. But you know what day it is? What? It is Friday. Ooh. And on Fridays, it's all about Effort Friday. What aren't you taking into your weekend? Well, give us a call right now at 1 844 YUNG. J O C is Effort Friday. What aren't you? taking into this weekend is Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover. That's right. Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover. Miss Shanika right here. Shouty, shouty. DJ Swin and the Bonnie Bang. So, it is Friday. Happy Friday to you, you, and yours. Oh, I know them kids stressing y'all out. It's summertime. They want the juices, the sandwiches. Mama, can I, daddy, can you? Oh, Lord, I know they wearing y'all out. Anywho, it is Effort Friday, and we want to know what aren't you taking into your weekend? Shouty. Hey, man, I ain't taking no, you know, it's Father's Day weekend. Mm-hmm. And um, it's been peculiar, you know, my years uh, with fatherhood. And um, I would like to say stop parental alienation, but I am a, I ain't a calling victim, but you know, it's real. And so I always get it real emotional right before Father's Day. And I go to feel in a certain type of way, mm-hmm. but man, I ain't taking that into this weekend. I'm coming in with them to the wall. All right, then. All right. Well, what I'm not taking into the weekend is just, um, People doing too much, like people not knowing how to approach you, like when they speak with you. Yeah, get y'all thoughts and minds because people are crazy these days. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the wrong uh, statement or the wrong gesture, you never know how somebody's day is going. Your day might be going bad, but let's just stop a moment and correct what we got going on with us before we say anything to someone else. So I want to dismiss having a tude or something on your shoulder before you say something to other people. 
Uh, DJ Swing, you got one? Yep. I'm not taking uh, the Dallas Mavericks into the uh, weekend. <laughs> the NBA Finals is going to wrap up tonight. It's going to be a sweep. The Boston Celtics are going to win. We're going to get prepared for uh, this parade real quick. Also, man, I want to not take into the weekend the fact that public school is free, but they're charging $800 for summer school for these kids. What? I just don't understand it. Mm-hmm. Mm, they had program. Well, if y'all want to keep on procreating, y'all got to pay for these <laughs> little babies, okay? Mm, anyway, mm. it is Epic Friday. What aren't you taking into the weekend? Hit us up, 1-844-YUNG-JOC. It's Young Jack in the Streets Point and Takeover. Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Glover, a.k.a. Big Glow, and I'm with my folks, Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Let's go. That's right. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Miss Shanika right here. Happy Friday to you, you, and yours. All right. So, it is If It Friday, and what I am not taking into the weekend. Let's see. So, I'm not taking the fact that... Man, so many people that I know have been involved in car accidents, even myself, last Friday. So, let's just extraly pay attention as we go to and from um, on the roadways because there are a lot of people not paying attention. So, let's take paying attention into our weekend. All right, Bonnie Banks. Yes. What aren't you taking into your weekend? I've decided that I'm going to stay in the house this weekend. I've been outside. What? I know. I got to get some You're work done. You're not taking yourself into the weekend. Yep. My, <laughs> myself is going to stay home this weekend. All right. Well, the streets are safe this weekend. Bonnie is going to be at home. What a wonderful thing. All right. It is Epic Friday. What aren't you taking into your weekend? I'm not taking my job into Friday with me. I'm going to call I'm going to call off today because I'm tired of them. They always complaining. Um, it's too early. I'm done with this. Like, I'm just not going in today. I'm not taking no gifts for my baby daddy into the weekend because he ain't been no father all weekend. And I'm not taking my child in his house either because mm. it's not just going to be a one day daddy situation. Absolutely not. Not a one day daddy situation. Oh, it is Father's Day weekend. What y'all doing for these men? You know, Mother's Day is a big deal. When Father's Day come by, be like, radio silence <laughs> well if you've missed any part of our show you can always go back and listen on the streets app and coming up we got that date dilemma on the way at the 25 you don't want to miss it and if you want to be down with this date dilemma mm -hmm. you can always hit us up at 1844YUNG JOC is Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover no matter what I do all I think about is you. You are now listening to The Date Dilemma with Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. If you got a dilemma, they got a dilemma, which means we got a dilemma. It's The Date Dilemma. Who's on the line this morning? Cherish. Good morning, Cherish. How can we help you? Hi. Well, I'm calling because, like, I have, like, a problem, mm -hmm. like, going on right now with me, my boyfriend. <sighs> okay, where do I even begin? So, you know, I've been dating this guy for about five months now, and, you know, everything's been going, like, great because we've been hanging out so much we like each other mm -hmm. that you know i want to introduce him to my family okay so my boyfriend i invited him over to my dad's house mm -hmm. it just so happened at the time when he did come over to my dad's house it was like midday like he came over or whatever and my dad he was like in the middle of like watching the news watching tv so you know he comes over and i kind of like walk upstairs for a hot second he i introduce him to my dad i kind of go upstairs for a little bit and like i was upstairs not even long before like they kind of like started to get into it a about like politics they get to talking about mm. politics like and I, I don't even know why they even like like for what like you know but pretty much like my dad is against Trump like hates him mm. like, you know so like talking to my dad about politics and talking to my dad about that so you didn't that's warn that's a man a like before you got in before you made the introduction like hey I feel like you could have infiltrated the, the situation girl I didn't know they were gonna talk about politics let alone I didn't know he even cared about politics uh, Oh, okay. even All voice right. his opinion so that was like where did this conversation even come from they need to be talking that should not even have been like a conversation you know so H hold on is something wrong is something wrong with being a Trump supporter to me it is I what? mean to my family it is like what? to my dad it is like oh mm-hmm 
like anybody that's a Trump supporter because he just he just hates Trump. They're like going back, like maybe disrespecting my dad, like calling my dad bruh, like because they're going back mm. to my dad, like like saying stuff like that. So I like I like get into it with my boyfriend, like telling them like you know chill out. Like so, what, what, what would like, you like for us to do today? I want you guys to call him, call this fool, and I want him to publicly apologize to my dad for disrespecting him. If he cares about oh. me like he says he does, then he would apologize. Oh, what's, your boyfriend? So, what's your boyfriend's name? Jarrell. Okay, can we... Go? And what's your name? Cherish. My name is Cherish. Okay. So, Cherish, can we go ahead and attempt to get uh, Jarrell on the phone? Yeah. Okay, put your phone on mute. We're going to tell you when it's time to talk, all right? I mean, I just... I'm a little confused because it seems like she didn't know this man well enough to introduce him to the father. Well, just because I'm not a, a supporter of the current administration, I get all type of hate. Uh, me and my father-in-law go back and forth every other day. Hello. Hey, good morning. My sweet Jarrell, please. This is him. What is this? Good morning, Jarrell. I know you're trying to figure out who you're on the phone with. Let me go ahead and break it down to you. Young Jock, Miss Shanika, and Shouta Shouta with Young Jock and the Streets oh, Morning Takeover. Hey. What did do? But we lit, Jarrell. How you doing today? Man, they call me J-Mac. What's up? Oh, J-Mac. Oh. Okay, J-Mac. How you, man? You good? Okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. What's going on? So, you know, yeah, this is a nationally syndicated... I want some tickets. I want some tickets. I'm going to tell you what you want. This is a nationally syndicated morning show, right? Okay. Yeah, okay. And uh, we have a segment called The Day Dilemma. And right now, you're on The Day Dilemma. Why? Well, what? Who? Are you familiar with Cherish? That's my girlfriend. Okay. Are y'all having any type of issues at this particular moment? I don't think so. Okay. Well, listen, there's something just recently happened with you and Cherish's father. Oh, she's still talking about that. Man, I thought she don't got over that. This is a conversation about some politician, man. She's still mad about that. Like, you got to get over that, Cherish. Where's she at? Matter of fact, mm. she has some very important things that she wants to share with you. We're going to put on the line now, okay? Okay. Cherish, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Good morning. That's your man, Jarrell. Jarrell Chairs. Why you had to call the, the radio station? You could have called my phone. Because, like, we're not seeing eye to eye in regards. You don't feel as though you, need, you, you owe my dad an apology for disrespecting him. It's not even... Okay, you guys were going back and forth about politics, but calling my yeah. dad bro, just disrespecting him, basically ended the conversation like, mm, he just I mean, leave, not say anything. He calls like, your dad bro. At each other. <laughs> I mean, he had got me heated, so I'm like, man, chill out. Like, I'm telling him to chill out, and he won't even just chill out about it. He keep on getting louder and louder. Like, I'm not trying to disrespect your dad, but I'm a grown man, too. But you he were yelling, too, so don't act like but, it was just my dad yelling, like... Exactly. My, you know what my dad doesn't understand. Like, what makes you even like? You don't even watch the news. You don't even pay attention. What you watch social me social media? That's where well, you get all your information from. You don't even uh, really know. Just, Try to even go back and forth. You need to study more about what's even going on in politics to even voice your opinion. Oh, uh, okay. That's how you feel. I, that's so you, what I know. So you, so you still ain't got over this. Like, dang. Who, so you, who you gonna vote? You ain't team Trump with me? No, how you gonna, I mean, how you gonna be my? I don't even how feel how you gonna how be my woman? Trump. How, how you gonna how come y'all ain't know? Who y'all was voting for before y'all? Yeah, you're as street as can be. You vote for Trump. You don't Man. like your black ass. Why, why, I'm so, Trump I'm is a convicted going? felon, and you know yeah. some some felons identify with their own kind. I think to keep Trump out of office because once he gets in office, like you know, he gonna give us some more money. I ain't, I ain't gonna, gonna some more black you. people. I'm not gonna argue with you about that. You can't. But I'm it's just what he brings along with it, like what? you know, just the racism, like racist people that. Like, you know, I, it could be a good thing or it could be a bad thing. Once office. some Trump keep on supporting the black people like he's been doing, them racist people going to get in line and start doing the same thing and start visiting all our restaurants and stuff because we are, we are black entrepreneurs down here in Atlanta. Are you willing to give the dad an apology this morning live on air? Oh, for what? To save your relationship, apparently. No, nah, I mean, I think he should apologize to me because oh. he's what we vote for Trump. Like, I won't know what's wrong with him. This is what it sounds like to me. For him to apologize to your dad to smooth things over so you and uh, he can move forward without all the extra uh, turmoil. But it don't look like it's going to happen. So, hey, y'all couldn't figure this out over something so simple. But on behalf of 1-800-Engine, the Bethune Law Firm, y'all will not be getting this $100. So, listeners, call us up. 1-844-YUNGJOC. That's Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover. That was the date dilemma with Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover. Every weekday from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. I'm listening to Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. That's right, Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Man, boy, y'all people crazy. I hit it date the limit crazy. 
Mm-hmm. And I'm just trying to figure out how do you allow how do you allow um, your relationship to go left over argument with your parents and your significant other or someone who's trying to become that significant other. So, well, some people value respect. Like, if you can't respect my parent, then I mean, what what do we have here? What if your parent is antagonizing me? Uh huh. What if the parent is antagonizing me? I supposed to just bow down because it's your parent? We both adults. I'm not. All right, let's talk about it. <laughs> Cherish invited her man to her house to meet the family. Now, she introduced them to her dad, and they just started going back and forth about politics. Now, you know, anytime you step into another man's home, into his domain, into his casa, mm. you you can't just force your opinions on them. I don't think that they was at the boy house. No, the, 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 she said at the, her house. But they don't live together. I, I get it. It don't matter. as a So the father going to always feel like he's bigger than some new boyfriend. Of course. Home. So under any roof, if I feel like I am the alpha and you pushing your agenda like you the alpha, it's gonna be some some friction if they don't if they're not willing to bend back and forth. It ain't even about up. that. What is about y'all? Donald Trump, man, I find myself in peculiar conversations representing a party that as opposed to a party that I strictly don't represent. You find yourself in weird conversations, right? Yeah. Crazy but we're, we're, hate. Particularly talking about other people's parents, though. Somebody's parents. Somebody yeah. you trying to date her. Now, her dad is against Trump. Yeah, my father-in-law is too. And her boyfriend is for Trump. So now he is somebody, you 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 trying to date my daughter. Mm-hmm. And you believe in something that I do not believe in and I do not support. I could definitely see it being a problem. But it takes a certain level of uh, maturity mm-hmm. to get past that type of combo. And that, that, a heated argument like that. Man, he started getting a little disrespectful with a dad. Called him bro. Can you be like, hey, bro, you trim? You should just call him a Democrat. <laughs> you Democrat? <laughs> it's crazy out here, man. Y'all jogging the streets wow. morning to take over. What's your thoughts on this date dilemma? Wow, I gotta say, you a big dirty. You think Trump's gonna get an office and give you some more money? You gotta be a fool. That's all I got. Um, I think he don't need to apologize for nothing. Like, I don't support Trump or none of that, but if he feels how he feels, he shouldn't have to apologize. I'm just saying, like, the dad wrong too. Like, why is y'all going back and forth about some stuff that he's saying politics? Y'all is not in politics. Mm-mm. I just know how to I, I I I know how to play it smooth with people, man. But anyway, y'all got to figure it out on your own sometimes, right. I guess. Hey, man, that is the day dilemma. Word on the streets is coming up, man. Miss Shanika gonna definitely hit y'all with everything that's popping out here on the street top. Yeah. Now you know coming up, man. Are you smarter than Young Jock? Somebody got to get this money from you today. All right, keep it locked, Young Jock. In the streets, morning take over. <laughs> Yes, sir. It's the top of the hour. Young Jack in the streets morning. Take over. Hello, Miss Shanika. Hello, shout it, shout it. Yeah. Hello. Now, y'all already know how this thing go, man. A lot of times, you know, when it comes to Mother's Day, hey, man, Mother's Day is like a vacation right here at the crib. You know what I'm saying? You make for the them, mothers. For the mothers. You want to make them feel like, hey, babe, everything you've done has been perfect, solid, A1, and accepted by God. <laughs> okay. But when it comes to the Father's Day, uh, <laughs> man, it be like, hey, man, got you some socks, man. Crickets. You good? You got socks? Man, my grandma gave me a pair of socks. You know how you roll a sock up? Mm-hmm. With a cigarette lighter in mm-hmm. it and some hand sanitizer. So that's what your grandmother gave that's you it. for that's Father's Day? Yeah. yeah. She didn't have to give you anything well, because... Right. I didn't, I didn't, like it. It. I didn't like Why it. does she have to? Time out. I, see, see, see what she's I'm not the reason. She's the reason Mm-mm. that you're Mm-mm. able to I, be a father. Hey, man, we grown. We know that part. Okay, then. That's, that's well. Let's not that's complain about surface. Granny's gift. But let's go. Let's go do- a little deeper. What? Mm-hmm. Why did you have something to say about what my grandma gave me? I didn't say because it was she wrong. didn't have uh-uh. to do anything uh-uh. for time, you. Time, time out. Well, people can say the same thing about Mother's Day. That's okay. what I'm saying. Why do we got to get knocked and say, "Well, exactly. somebody ain't got to so do this"? So what about if because now, if you, you don't have to do anything for anybody? If you would have said that about. A Mother's Day situation. Uh huh. Somebody would have been ready to fight. And I would have said, be grateful that you got anything. You decided to be a mother. No, that's how insensitive they are to fathers. They don't know exactly. what we she feel like on Father's Day. And by I just us. said, hold did on, you not on, just hear what I said about No, because that wasn't No, Who how rude you are? Jesus. Here, listen, yeah. Listen, let me tell you something. Women 
they don't they don't regard us. You know, they they disregard us. And you kinda made me for, for lose my thought with all that. But, but let me tell you this right here. They don't care about us. And if they uh if if your grandma will give you something, if your, if your grandma will give you something on Father's Day, it's because she saw the lack. Of everybody else doing for you And as a grandmother With grandmotherly love She said let me give my baby something right. Because he is being a good and father If he not I'm going to motivate him To be a good father And that's what we need When and we get out And get on the radio what you got you look like Don't a ball, point at boy. me. Point, and I'm first of all, angles. Jock got on here on this radio <laughs> and tried to diss his grandmother, no, essentially, no, because no, you said, no. all I got was a tube no, of socks no, and a lighter. No, at least she gave you something. She See? showed appreciation for the fact that you were hey, a father. Hey, first and foremost. So y'all coming at me foremost, saying anything mm -hmm. beyond nope. what I said you should be grateful uh -uh. is irrelevant. You see what you took. It. What I was saying is, these are the types of gifts that men get. Okay. And y'all should be happy with it. And we should just be happy with yes. some socks and a lighter. That's what you should be happy with. I wasn't even a smoker. What I was going to do with a lighter? Boy, when you ain't smoke? I wasn't a smoker. When? What are you saying? I was not a smoker. My what grandma, age was this? It was, I was an adult. I was not a smoker, Miss Oh, okay. Either way. Now are you? What Man, I'm saying. What are we doing? What I'm saying is I want to take the time out. To get a father some shout outs. It's Couldn't Friday. It's an epic Friday, but we're going to make it a Father's Day Friday. I want y'all to call us up. Shout out your dad. A shout out a good dad, man. I'm shouting out Stanley Tucker. What's happening? I love you, baby. Call me. 1 844 YUNG JOC. You want to shout somebody out shouting? Yeah. Hey, man. Shout out to my father, James Burroughs. He out there, man. In Atlanta, we fresh. We kicking it. Hi. Keep it light, young jock in the streets morning. Take over. Good morning, man. It's your Pony Young Dro right here, man. Every day from 6 to 10 a.m., we listen to the best damn morning show. It's Young Jock in the Street Morning Takeover. Let's go. Grand hustle, boy. That's right, that's right. Hey man, it's an Effie Friday and today. If it don't mean forget about it, it mean don't forget about the fathers out there. You dig what I'm saying? We shouting out to the fathers out there. Miss Shanika, any good men out here you would like to shout of out course, to your father? I would like to shout out to my now deceased father and uh, my biological father. Um, my father who raised me, Mark Johnson, was just exemplary like man he's just like he was the best man to ever do it so that's what i'll say about my father um happy father's day to my husband Corey, and happy father's day to all the fathers out there just making it happen for their kids man i ain't mad at that right there hey look here it's that time man. i'm about to go to these phone lines because they red hot they jumping uh, it's Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover. Would you like to shout out a special father? Man, I just want to know who hurt Miss Shanika. She always mad at me. What's going on, man? I wanted to give a shout out to my father posthumously. Rest in peace. Your words are still giving me encouragement and raising me. To my husband, who chose to be a bonus dad. To my daughter 13 years ago. And to his dad, who's right now struggling with a health condition, who made him the great man that he is. I want to wish all three of them the happiest Father's Day. I just want to shout out my ex-husband, Cam. He's a great father to our daughter. And my current husband, TJ, he's a great father to our son. Yeah, good, uh, good morning. Uh, happy Father's Day to my nephew, Jock. And, and shouty, shouty. But telling his grandmama heard what he said. All right, she said she's going to get him for Father's Day. She's going to get him just that. <laughs> Yes, Grandma. That, grandma, I'm going to tell you something. I held you down up that's here. That's funny. I held you. That's that cat. That cat you right better, now. You better be lucky she gave you anything. Hey, time. man. Shouts out to you, cat. You crazy, man. And let me clear this up. Huh? I, I had wonderful men in my life that raised me. Mm, I can't tell you the way you be acting Well, sometimes. be a wonderful man and <laughs> you get treated man. like one. Well, I you're am. wonderful to somebody, like but not me, sweetheart. Well, guess what? Thank you. I got to shout out to all the so fathers that celebrated with me last night, man. Uh, Black Men in Tech. It was a dope event. Shouts out to Cam, man. I appreciate you, bro. Happy Father's Day. Are You Smarter Than Young Jock is on the way, man. Yep. 1 844 -Y -U -N -G -J -O -C. Somebody come get this money. Keep it locked, Young Jock in the streets morning. Take over. Taking the game, the game's mine. It's Are You Smarter Than Young Jock? The King and his gang. gang Only with Young Jock in the streets morning takeover. Yo, yo, Young Jock in the streets morning takeover. What's your name? Where you calling from? 
Yo, yo, this is Wayne calling from Norfolk, Virginia. Okay, okay, Norfolk in the building. What's up, Wayne? Look here, man. Are you smarter than Young Jock? I don't know, Jock, bro. I'm about to try. You damn right you're going to try. It's new money all over the place, and you got to get you some, man. I'm going to turn you over to Miss Shanika, all right? Yes, sir. All right. What's your name? How you doing? It's Wayne. Okay, Wayne. Here are the rules. You have 10 seconds to answer each question. The first person to get all three questions correctly will be the winner. You guys cannot answer each each other's questions. Um, if you answer the question after your 10 seconds is up, you will be disqualified, okay? Yes, ma'am. All right. Here is the first question, Wayne. What is the cowboy's name from Toy Story? Is it A, Buzz? Is it B, Tommy? Is it C, Woody? Or is it D, Wilson? Yes, ma'am. It's C, Woody. All right, young Jack. Yo. Which one of Scooby-Doo's human friends wears glasses? Is it A, Velma, B, Shaggy, C, Fred, or D, Scooby-Doo? Velma. All right, you are correct. All right, Wayne. ESPN Television Network airs which one of these shows? Is it A, WWF, B, First Take, C, Undisputed, or D, Fox NFL Sunday? Uh, so we don't got that station in Virginia. Yeah. What, what the station is one more time? ESPN. Two. Yo, ESPN. What? Oh, oh, oh. What's the question? I'm in the atmosphere. Oh, man. You messed up. <laughs> Sorry, Wayne. <laughs> Young Jock. Yo. ESPN Television Network airs which one of these shows? A, WWF, B, First Take, C, Undisputed, or D, Fox NFL Sunday. I'm going to go with my first mind and say first take. All right, you are correct. Oh. All right, so Young Jack, yes, what is the white part of your fingernail call? Is it A, the tip, mm-hmm. B, lunia, or C, acrylic? Ah, only reason I know this is because I wanted to get my big toe taken off. It's the <laughs> two. Lunula. Lon who? Lunula. No, no, it's not. Okay. That's not how you pronounce it. All right. Non nulla. Lunula. Lon nulla. Lon yula. Yula. Spill I don't it. see any apostrophes in this. Spell it. Anyway, so you got Spill it correctly. It. Spell it. L U N U L A. Now say it the way I just said. Lanula. Ah, you're great. Awesome. I said that in the beginning. No, you didn't. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Wizain. I guess you you won. You guess? Congratulations. Hey. You're a winner. <laughs> and your forehead's ashy. Huh? Yeah. Sorry, Wayne. Better luck next no, time. You want to get some shout outs though, Wayne? Why you here, man? Why well, shout out the whole Virginia, man. Seven, five, seven, five. Seven, five, seven, seven, cities, all that right there. It's love, man. We appreciate you for calling us up and listening every morning, Wayne. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Test your wits. Test your knowledge for cash and prizes. Take it, take it, the game, the game's mine. It's Are You Smarter Than Young Jock? The king and his gang. gang Only with Young Jock in the streets morning takeover. Every day we listen to the best damn morning show. Gotta stay tapped in to the number one morning show in the city. It's my brother Young Jock in the streets morning takeover. Baby, baby, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going down in a major woo, way. Woo, woo. Who was that singing, Miss Honey? Uh, I think it was Ro Timmy, I believe. Well, Him and Vito are like really comparable to me in a lot of different ways. As far mm. as like their sound to me, uh, like I no, like the what? Yeah, they not are. To me. To, well, to me, not to me. Okay, well. But I respect them both. Speaking of Vito, <laughs> speaking of Vito, they both friends of mine. Speaking of Vito, uh, Vito joined our show. We talked about it actually, and uh, I'm gonna just play this and we'll go from here. We're gonna get married. We're gonna do it the. We're gonna do it our way. Okay. We over the top already, so let's hold off. Let's wait. 13 years, I was like, yeah, it's that time. I had my daughter. And I, w- I wanted to wait till I had a daughter. This may sound crazy. I wanted to see if she's a good mom. If really? She, if she's a good mom, she's a good wife. Don't mean that she already wasn't a good girlfriend. Mm-hmm. But he felt like, you know, that was going to make her a better wife. A better person, a better candidate to marry. That's so interesting, man, because uh, 
He's been catching a lot of flack. It's, they posted this all over the shade room. It's it been was, everywhere. Well, first, I got to give love to my girl, the Jasmine Brand. She was the first to post. Right. And then it went to Spiritual World and then on the shade room. In the meantime, in between time, I had posted it on my page. And they, yo, they was on bro neck hard. Like. This girl said, uh, <laughs> I heard the part of the interview while driving to work. Uh, this is on the shade room. She said to work, and I, I changed the station so quick because Jock and Shouter didn't know, didn't even know how to take that answer. <laughs> no. <laughs> and I said, whoa, whoa. I told, her, I said, I knew exactly how to pose mm. the question. As a man that knows what I want <laughs> out of life, I respected him for his comment and his commitment. Mm-hmm. Lots of women are suffering in their day to day lives because their man or woman hasn't figured out what it's gonna take to make them fully commit. Right. While some may not agree with his method of thinking, he and his beautiful wife found their way to their happy. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to marry her. Not the only reason. Me wanting to see if we would be able to successfully transition into parenthood together while still loving each other the same. Our love didn't waver. The fun is still there. Having a child can complicate things and sometimes muddy the love. Being a mother is a tough thing. The sacrifice that she shows for this child, the sheer love. I felt like if she was able to do that, I would have a hell of a wife. I was ready to be a father before I was ready to be a husband. Having a child sped up the process of me becoming a husband. And for that, I am extremely grateful. It worked for us. She was a good mother. She's an even better wife. Now, what I've come to realize Mm -hmm. is the world asks so much of a man. And one thing that women ask of a man is him to be forthcoming and truthful. Right. But the minute a man is truly forthcoming and truthful, it's a problem. Even with the last thing he said, I was ready to be a father before I was ready to be a husband. And there are a lot of different truths that That's the truth, he I mean. expand upon. And, you know, Jock, you kept on saying, nah, th- brother, this, uh, I mean, I respect what you're saying, but it sounds crazy. And you kept, you know, asking him in different ways and he was tripling down on what his belief is. And at what point are we going to stop questioning people about what it is that they believe in? And he feels like it's working for him. No. Also, his wife was able to comment on social media. She was like, y'all are really going in on my husband, but it worked for us. Us. Period. That's their truth and how they're living out here. So, I mean, kudos to them. A lot of women were like, you know, you just making our uterus a, a playground until you feel like, you know, <laughs> you can commit to us. But he said what a lot of people are already doing. A lot of people are making families and, you know, establishing these children without real commitments. So Understood. who fault at the end of the day is it? We can demand that these people make these commitments to us before we have children with them. Well, either way it works, it's popping. My boy Vito, he, they on, he on every blog, every headline. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing you, bro. Loving the new music, man. All right. You know what it is. Let us know what you got coming up, buddy. All right. Well, Rihanna, Rihanna is talking about postpartum. All right. Also, we got to get into Chloe asking her brother for something very, very personal. And the young lady from the Bernie Mac show, Camille, is telling us why she decided to join OnlyFans. Mm. What is she doing on there? We're going to tell you all that and more coming up inside the Word on the Streets News. Keep it locked right here to Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Word on the Streets going down like Jock said. It's Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover with Miss Shanika. That's right. Got to get inside this Word on the Streets News as we talk about... Tiana Taylor. Yes, it seems that she is earning nearly double what Amon Shumpert makes every single month. Now, Amon is asking for her to pay some child support. According to Amon's counting, accounting, Tiana's gross monthly income before taxes is $93,885, nearly double the $47,981 that he brings home every month. Dang, they got a lot of money together. Monthly. This is monthly. This is not yearly, darling. Uh, Well, it seems that it needs to be a little bit more reasonable. Come on, dog. Let the man do his thing. I don't know if it worked like that. What? It should go by uh, the income base. Both of you guys laid down there and, and had children. And right now, Tiana is making more than Amon. Well, we are up. But, you know, here's the thing. Is that something y'all really want? Is that something that women want? Y'all don't want to hear that. They should because it should be it it should be 
on a more y'all equal playing ground. Y'all don't want to hear that. I just heard a whole conversation the other day, and I was, it was a room full of women who are getting it, and they're making more money than the men in their lives and mm-hmm. the men around them. And it was like it's a woman's world. But you start this conversation to talk about they paying more for the child support or him paying less because they make more money. It's going to be an issue. But in Tiana's defense, (laughs) now she definitely does have a lot of different issues with him when the children are in his custody. And maybe that extra money is going to provide for nannies and other people, you know, being around when they are in his custody. She's making making $98,000 a year. She got the extra money. A month. That's what I mean. A month. She got the extra money. I wouldn't even have them posted our business we if don't who's know making that. Well, they money. are because she had some concerns about the children being in his custody. Mm, that's- Whereas he would smoke and lay down and then the kids would be doing God's know what. Mm-hmm. And anyway, moving right along, let's talk about Rihanna. She is talking about, first of all, her hair care line. It dropped. So kudos to her on that. And a lot of people had a lot of things to say about her new do it looks like a short baby Jerry curl, mm-hmm. a little bit little baby S curl that the men used to wear back in the day. And <laughs> she's speaking out about her postpartum hair loss. I was not on the pamphlet. Yeah, no, no one no. told you. No, and I did not expect it to happen in waves either. I thought it would just happen and grow back. But it went this spot, then this spot, then this spot. And at that point, you're just like, all right, yeah. enough is enough. But um. I also learned to embrace that in itself. Mm-hmm. I, that actually just made me get a little more creative and clever with my hairstyles. I know that's right, Riri. And I like the way that she's flipping it now because people are like, wait, hold on. Well, why you had on the blind wig when you were promoting the hair care line? So that answers a lot of questions. Make sure you guys support our girl. And that is the word on the streets news. I'm Miss Shanika. You guys can follow me at Miss Shanika and follow us at Streets Morning Takeover. That's what's up. Thank you, Miss Shanika. The Love Doc Jock is on the way. It's Father's Day, man. We're going to do a special Hi. Love Doc Jock today. All right, keep it where you got it. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. It's about that time for the love doc job. Help me help you help okay. me. Okay, come on. What's your problem? And this guy will either help or hinder your relationship. Who do I think I am? Why I tell people that? Either way, he's a man for the job. It's Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. You're home with the love doc Jock. How about I help you? What's happening, Jock? Man, I need some advice. I ain't, I ain't no need no relationship advice. I need some real advice, though. About a couple of years ago, I had a situation with a married lady. Okay. The baby involved, and I think the baby mine, but she telling her husband the baby here. Mm. How do I go about fixing this situation? Let me let me explain something to you, man. I went through something like this, very similar. On your end of things, and on the end of things, I was a husband too. I had a situation where I was dealing with a woman who wasn't married yet. I didn't even know she was engaged. She didn't tell me. Then suddenly she started sending me pictures saying, this baby looks just like you. And I'm like, hold on, hold on, wait a minute now. You know, I walk on them. But the baby looked so much like me, it, I was like, wait a minute. Then on the other end of things, where I thought a child was mine, while I found out that it wasn't. And the guy was in your position. I think you got to ask yourself, are you ready for that confrontation of life? At the end of the day, you know, that's a conversation you got to have with her. Because you can't push her hand faster than she's ready. And I hate to say that, but honestly, because you're not locked in with a husband. You don't split taxes. You don't split bills. You don't, you know, you're not governed under the the, the household she is. So you got to have a conversation with her realistically. Like, I mean, you have to be honest. She's got to be honest. But I don't, I would not suggest you going and trying to tell that man, this might be my baby. You mess around to kill you and her. And himself. But now nah, that's the but that's the thing though. Around the time she was pregnant, he was telling her that he don't think that baby is. Well, I'ma say this to you, brother. Listen here, man. Send an anonymous email. Nah, what you could do is, cause this could become a people create lawsuits out of stuff like this. Get you an attorney. Just tell her to keep mm-hmm. from it being any punitive damages in the future. You would like to get a, a DNA test now so you can put your mind at ease. That way you're not living life going day in and day out wondering if this is your child because that could create a burden on your own heart, man. You know what I'm saying? So try to figure out a way to talk to her so you could get that done. Now, if it comes out of that's your child, then y'all got to be re- ready with the secondary plan. Or, you know, the next method of operation once you move from there. So, uh, man, Jock, they've been a burden on my heart for three years, man. I went through it, bro. Trust me, I, I wouldn't even lie to you. I went. It sounds exactly the same, and the dude was kind of like wondering because he knew that we messed around before. But anyway, listen, man, hit us back and let us know how that turned out. Get your attorney first, man. Go By find her being attorney. married, he got rights to your child. Yeah. Keep it locked right here to Young Jock in the Streets. 
It's time for Small Business Spotlight, giving back to the community. When Young Jock in the streets more than take over. I have a small painting company in Norfolk, Virginia, by the name of VA Services. Uh, we do interior and exterior painting, commercial and residential. My number is 757-785-8070. The name of the business is VA Services. What makes us special is we do professional work with unprofessional prices. Keep it locked right here to Young Jock in the streets more than take over. Hey, what's happening? It's your boy Offset. Every weekday from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m., I'm listening to the best damn morning show, Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Hey! Yes, sir. It's about that time. It's, it's the, you know. Yeah. It's the fifth day of the week. In here. A lot of people be looking for it, for it to this day. It's an every Friday. Um, Ooh, try not to take any. It's six day, but okay. Is it really? I mean, Sunday starts the week. Does it? Yeah. Sunday is considered day the one? The first, yeah, it is. Really? Yeah. Okay. The Gregorian calendar really messed up the whole world, but whatever. Because the Sabbath is the seventh day, right? The Sabbath is Saturday. But it's the seventh day, right? Yeah. Okay. Are you sure? Dude. <laughs> we about to get out of here, man. Uh, make the day count. Be great at whatever it is you're trying to be and do. Uh, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out here, out, out here in the world. You know. Sometimes we're misunderstood. Sometimes we're overlooked, but it's okay. You know what I'm saying? Do your part. Do your share. Be yep. fair. And if you're a father out there and you know that you're not going to get the respect you supposed to get on Father's Day, plan your beautiful weekend. Go celebrate Juneteenth celebrations with people. Don't sit and mope in it. Go have fun. Enjoy yourself for your son. Hi. Happy Father's Day, fathers. Let's get it. Shout out to that boy Tank. Fight tomorrow. Hey. Where are we watching the fight at, y'all? Where are we watching the fight at? Fire stick. You gonna have it on fire stick? I got that at fire home. stick at that 70. Yeah, I got that uh Walmart on 70. 70 inch. Yeah. <laughs> well. Hey man, I love y'all, man. It's a it's always a pleasure to be your host. We love you. Keep hey. it locked. We catch up over the weekend and back on Monday, baby. Keep it locked. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Keep it locked right here to Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover.